and it's our true nature. But it always starts with one thing, is to come back and loving ourselves and to bypass our mental thoughts, bypass our actions of what we've done in the past, which is none of it exists in this moment. Yes, all of it has formed your personality, your character, and you become who you are. But right now, in this very moment, if you separate yourself from your memory, which is only thoughts, in this very moment, and, and not go into the future, which future thoughts and whatever is still the past. It's all coming from the past. And you come back here in this very moment, and you just sit with yourself, all of a sudden, you can feel the presence of her divine being, her majesty. You can feel the presence right here, right now. The love, the love of God, the love of that, your own love, it starts to show itself. And every time you come back to this place and you recognize it, then it can flow out of you to other people. And that, that is what heals. Now, we learn all the techniques. We learn all the good stuff we need to know, whether we're doing shamanic healing, uh, hands-on healing, distant healing, sound vibrational healing, or simply not doing anything, and it's just your presence. That does the healing. Love. Your true power. So come back to this place. Remind yourself, remember. Because I know how challenging it is. It's very easy to get caught in your head. It's very easy to go into the world of fear and anxiety and forget and worry about, you know, your job security, money, uh, your family security, your relationships. Oh, what's going to happen? Uh, what's going to happen to me? What's going to happen to me? You know, all this stuff, it's easy to get lost into it. Uh, Raphael, just give me one moment. I finish up and then I'll, I'll, I'll come to you. Um, it's easy to go get lost into that, but come back, come back home, come back here. Get into the habit of bringing yourself back here again in this moment, separated from previous moments, separated from any other future moments, come back home and just take a look. Hang out in this moment with yourself and just feel it. Feel the love which is here for you. When you disconnect from the world of thoughts and you come back here and you come back to your inner treasure and the presence in the present moment and you remember who you are again. You remember who you are again. And in that, then gratitude comes because you become grateful for everything you have. Everything you have, all the gifts that we do have, being grateful for it. And then you operate from that place again. You go back into the world and you do what you have to do, whatever that is. But you come back to the center. You don't operate from fear, you operate from love. You don't, you, look, it's good. Awareness is very important. We want to have awareness in our decisions, in whatever we do. And yeah, if there is danger is coming to you and fear rises, that's not a bad thing. Okay? So you're aware of danger coming and you're changing course. That's not a bad thing. 
I'm not talking about being reckless. Awareness is a good thing. Fear comes to the body in, in case that you're in a dangerous situation is not a bad thing. It's there to protect you, so you're aware of it. But living life from fear and anxiety, that's poison. That poisons your life. And we don't want that. We want to come back home. And only when you come back home to this moment and you recognize that you already have love around you and the presence is here, then you become mighty. And we, we practice that. We operate from that place in our lives. This is what we want. And this is the healthy way of living our lives. And we all have seen it. When we do that, everything flows very easily in life. And we're capable of handling challenges in life. Coming, being in this place, you know, coming to the present, coming to the place of love and understanding and wisdom, it doesn't mean you're not going to be challenged in life. Challenges always happen. But from what space you're coming to, to deal with it, that makes a difference in the quality of your life. One is coming from fear, anxiety, from... Uh, uh, uh. That one is going to make your life suffering and miserable. And the other one coming from a still, still place collected and balanced place make life and the challenges actually pleasurable and that's what we want we want to have a nice smooth ride through this life which there is meditation in it we want to live that life um all right uh, Raphael, my brother. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. The only thing is go ahead and we may have to get into your question. Uh, go ahead, ask me your question and I'll see because we're already at 1130. Um, well, it was uh, a long time ago. I, on, I asked it, uh, uh, why are we separated from the source and each other in the right. first place? Right. Okay. Why are we separated from the source and each other in the first place? Right. Well, in a, th this is a long, uh, going to be a long answer. Okay. So if you don't mind, we'll keep this for, for our next academy uh, because uh, I've already ran out of time. But uh, I don't know if I will be. I don't know if I will attend to the next academy. I understand. I don't know when our next academy is going to be, but I've run out of time. So I apologize for that. Uh, I wish the question came to me earlier, but uh, unfortunately we ran out of time. But in a nutshell, I just want to explain one thing to you. We're not separated to begin with. There is only an illusion of separation. We've never been separated. So it only looks like it. 